The history of the research vessel Calypso is a very interesting one. She started out as a military ship, then briefly became a ferry, and then went on to become an icon. She would be the symbol of deep sea exploration for many years. Even to this day, her name is synonymous with oceanic adventure and exploration. She would be fitted with a pair of deep sea submersibles, deep sea scanning equipment, and a helicopter. Her captain, Jacques Cousteau, and her crew of 27 logged many years in exploring the oceans. For the underwater land masses, to the Arctic, to the many varieties of life, to even shipwrecks, the Calypso has been there. This popularity would lead to an iconic television series called The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau, a show that I was very fond of as a child. To this day, I love watching the legendary footage of the beautiful Calypso against the powder blue sky and the dark, rich blue ocean water. HMS BYMS 2026 or HMS J826 was built as a minesweeper for the Royal Navy by the Ballard Marine and Railway Company which was located in the United States in Seattle, Washington. Ballard Boat Works was founded by Severt Sagstadt. He would build a variety of vessels, including private boats, fishing boats, as well as military vessels. The Sagstad family would continue to build vessels until the company's sale in 1994. The area is now a marina. The ordered ship would be a YMS class vessel. Her hull would be made of Oregon pine. She would be ordered on June 11, 1941. Her keel would be laid down on August 12, 1941. After almost a year and a half of construction, she would be launched on March 21, 1942. She would be commissioned by the Royal Navy on August 22, 1942 and she would be designated as a minesweeper. The ship would be 139 feet long. It would displace 360 tons of water. The beam would be 25 feet. The draft would be 10 feet. She would have three decks and be powered by twin diesel 580 horsepower, 430 kilowatt, eight cylinder General Electric engines. A twin screw vessel it would have speeds of 10 knots. She served the Royal Navy for five years and eventually was returned to the United States Navy on August 1st, 1947. In May of 1949, the HMS J826 was purchased from the United States Navy by Joseph Bassan. He would convert the ship into a Maltese passenger ferry she would be renamed the Calypso. The ship would be named after a Greek mythological fig figure associated with Gozo. She would serve on a route between Marfa, which is north of Malta, and Magar Gozo. She would be put into service for a total of four months. It is at that time that Joseph Gasson would get an offer to sell the ship to an explorer named Jacques Cousteau. To Cousteau, the Calypso would be a perfect research, research vessel built for deep sea exploration. Cousteau purchased the Calypso from Joseph Cassan on July 19, 1950. The Calypso was then sent to a shipyard in Antibes, France, where the ship would be fitted with research equipment. A unique feature of the ship would be the addition of portholes at the bottom of the bow section for underwater viewing. The Calypso would later be fitted with a Yumbo three-ton hydraulic crane as well as a helicopter landing pad. Jacques Cousteau would take possession of the Calypso and take her to sea for her trials in June of 1951. She would travel with a crew mostly made up of family and friends at the time. She would explore the waters off Corsica. After satisfied with his new research vessel, Cousteau would set sail on November 24th 1951 from the Toulon Arsenal and head for the Red Sea. The mission would be to study corals there. 
the mission would be a huge success. After which, the Calypso would be refitted for deep sea oceanographic research. Cousteau and the crew of the Calypso would go on to document award winning films such as The Silent World and The World Without Sun. It would also lead to a birth of a new popular television series called The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau. In July of 1952, the Calypso sailed from Toulon to Marcelli's, which was at the inlet of the Grand Conglou. There, Cousteau and his crew would study a shipwreck thought to be from the 3rd century BC. In 120 feet of water, the crew was able to recover artifacts, which would be brought to the Borley Museum and the Roman Docks Museum of Marcelli's. The success of the expedition would lead to the testing of new underwater photographic equipment during the summer of 1953. New underwater cameras equipped with electronic flashes now gave the crew the ability to photograph deep sea animals in their own habitat. This new technology would open up a world of deep oceanic life that was previously unattainable. Calypso would go on to collect a wealth of data over the course of her life. It was in 1954 that the Calypso would go on an expedition looking for oil. She would discover an oil field in the Persian Gulf. And later, in 1956, The Silent World would be produced. The award-winning film would make Jacques Cousteau and the Calypso famous. The ship would then be equipped with two submersibles, as well as the addition of a helicopter. The helicopter would be a Hughes 300C helicopter and would serve as a flying crow's nest. Later on, in 1964, a second film titled World Without Sun would be produced. This film would document Cousteau and the divers' experiences as they spent a month of living and working within Conshelf II, which was a man-made structure located at the bottom of the Red Sea. Cousteau and the crew of the Calypso would also produce an iconic television series called The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau. The program would document Calypso's expeditions and deep sea research spanning the globe. From the Antarctic to the Amazon River, the adventures of Cousteau and his Calypso brought us all joy and provided a wealth of oceanographic knowledge. Whether it was mapping the seabed, researching aquatic life, or researching the effects of storms, for well over 40 years, the Calypso would continue to explore and her discoveries would be made and she would become famous, as well as her captain and the crew during their iconic exploration. In 1996, Jacques Cousteau would look to replace the Calypso with a more updated ship, the Calypso II. Sadly, the Calypso would be involved in an accident in Singapore Harbor. On January 8, 1996, during a routine moving of a barge, the Calypso would be rammed and her hull partly crushed. After being struck by a barge, the resulting damage would cause the Calypso to sink. Not wanting to lose the iconic ship, the Calypso would be salvaged and refloated 17 days later. Her hull would be patched and she would be taken to a seaport in La Roche, France. The Maritime Museum would take possession of the ship for many years. After several legal battles, the Calypso was deemed to be the legal property of the Cousteau Society. From 2016 to as of this writing, August 25th, 2021, the Calypso would be taken apart and refurbished. However, 
be it lack of funds or other resources, the restoration project was halted and the Calypso currently sits in sections, waiting to be fully put back together and restored to her former beauty.